The Volkswagen Golf is gone for 2022. But here is the good news. The Golf GTI and Golf R are still here, and they are better than ever. The 2022 Golf GTI, a legendary front-wheel drive hot hatch that feels like an Audi, and the 2022 Golf R, an all-wheel drive hot rod with more than 300 horsepower. Did you still want the normal Golf? No, we didn't think so. For decades, the GTI has been the affordable, do-it-all car. Great for commuting, great for tearing up a back road, and great on space. It's a solid little German car that everyone knows is fun to drive and won't break the bank. The 2.0-liter Turbo 4 now makes 241 horsepower and 273 pound-feet of torque. That engine hooks up to a limited slip differential shared with the Jetta GLI. This axle is what transforms a powerful, nose-heavy car into a balanced machine. In the Golf R, there's 315 horsepower and 295 pound-feet of torque. The all-wheel drive can send all the power to the rear wheels and has a mechanical torque vectoring rear axle plus adaptive dampers. With big wheels and summer tires, these two cars will be tough to beat. On the outside, these cars look like Golfs. The headlights are thinner and wider, the grille is wider and includes fog lights arranged in an X pattern, and check out the light bar spanning between the headlights. There are some new creases here and there, but you'll recognize these cars immediately. Of course, the GTI wouldn't be a GTI without plaid seats and a golf ball shifter, so those remain. You can still order a six-speed manual transmission, thank goodness, and the seven-speed dual-clutch automatic is an option. The interior looks just as basic and high quality as before, and that's the thing about the Golf. It's all business, but makes you feel comfortable. You can order ambient lighting in 30 colors. A 10-inch digital instrument panel is standard and offers lots of customization. You can also get a 10-inch touchscreen and semi-automated driving features, but that's too much. The GTI and the R are meant to be driven and driven hard. Both cars will arrive in the US this fall. The GTI starts at 29,545, and the R comes in one trim, fully loaded, for 43,645. What do you think? Would you spend this much money on a small car or buy a used Porsche? Whatever you decide, you can find your next performance car at cargurus.com and watch all our new car reviews right here on YouTube.